COVID-19 remains a public health concern as St. Lucia continues to record a significant number of new cases. Variants and subvariants continue to affect all population groups globally. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs remains committed to ensuring that COVID-19 vaccines are available and accessible to all eligible populations. Over the last two weeks, St. Lucia received 7,800 doses of pediatric Pfizer. 3,000 doses from the government of Spain as a generous donation, and an additional 4,800 doses for the COVAX facility. The government of St. Lucia is ever grateful to its partners for the generous donation of life-saving vaccines. The younger population ages five to 11 years can now get the much needed protection against COVID-19 and its complications. These vaccines will further complement the existing COVID-19 vaccines available to the people of St. Lucia. Young children are extremely vulnerable and can manifest lung infections, become very sick and require hospitalization if they become infected with the COVID-19 virus. This is especially important to remember in light of variants, which can be very contagious. Like adults, children can also transmit COVID-19 to others if they're infected, even when they have no symptoms. Getting the COVID-19 vaccine can protect the child and others, reducing the chances of transmitting the virus to others, including family members and friends, and older persons who may be more susceptible to severe consequences of the infection. Remember, the current vaccines are still effective in preventing severe illness from current variants of the virus. The pediatric Pfizer vaccine has been approved and authorized for use in children five to 11 years. The formulation and dosage are different to that of the adult Pfizer vaccine. The recommended schedule is two doses given intramuscularly in the deltoid muscle four to eight weeks apart after the first dose, preferentially eight weeks, as a longer interval between doses is associated with higher vaccine effectiveness. Side effects are likely similar to the side effects experienced with other age groups. The child may experience pain at the injection site, that is the upper arm, and could feel more tired than usual. Fever, irritability, or drowsiness are also possible. These side effects are usually temporary and generally clear up within 48 hours. Antipyretics or analgesics such as panadols are effective in relief of these symptoms. We are all looking forward to the complete state of normalcy. Getting vaccinated is beneficial and cost effective and reduces severe illness and hospitalizations. For our children, it means keeping them in school with less disruptions and participating in the activities they enjoy. Most important, it is the protection that vaccine offers. Children exposed to the virus who are vaccinated are less likely to get infected. As of Monday, August 15th, 2022, the pediatric Pfizer will be available at all wellness centers for children five to 11 years. Parents or guardians are encouraged to visit or make an appointment at the wellness centers to have the children vaccinated. Vaccination continues at various wellness centers around the island. COVID-19 vaccines currently available are AstraZeneca, Pfizer-BioNTech, both adult and pediatric, and Janssen's. The Ministry of Health, 
wellness and elderly affairs encourages persons, especially the vulnerable among us, to get vaccinated. COVID-19 still infects people, can cause severe disease, hospitalizations, and death. Thank you.